This is combinatorics, including concepts of graph theory. It's one of the Shams outlines, and this is an interesting book. It's got a lot of topics in it. So combinatorics is uh, the study of counting, and in graph theory, you study graphs. And so sometimes these topics are bundled together. Oftentimes, um, they're taught um, in other books, like uh, discrete math books. In fact, uh, V.K. Balakrishnan uh, also wrote a book on discrete mathematics, which is a Dover book, which is great, and has a lot of the same topics uh, that you might find in this book. He dedicates this to Paul Erdos. It's funny, there's a proof by Paul Erdos, or a result by Paul Erdos, and probably many, uh, in uh, Balakrishnan's discrete math book. Dedicated to Paul Erdos, who as the founder of modern combinatorics has been posing problems, coining conjectures, and tackling theorems in number theory, graph theory, and combinatorics, besides showing the world the way to count the number of ways in more than one way for more than half a century. Yes, yes. And then here, um, it talks about Balakrishnan. Let's, let's actually read about him because I'm interested. I, uh, I want to see what it says here. V.K. Balakrishnan, we were just talking about him, so let's see. Is a professor of mathematics at the University of Maine, where he coordinates an inter interdepartmental program on operations research. He has an honors degree in mathematics from the University of Madras a master's degree in pure mathematics from the University of Wisconsin at Madison, and a doctorate in applied mathematics, wow, from the State University of New York at Stony Brook. He is a fellow of the Institute of Combinatorics and his applications and a member of the American Mathematical Society, Mathematical Association of America, bunch of stuff, right? Wow, and he's written other books, just Introductory to Discrete Math and Network Optimization. Yeah, Balakrishnan. UK Balakrishnan. Awesome. Oh, what's this say here? Say mathematician. Let's see what this says. How many are the combinations in one composition with ingredients of six different tastes? Sweet, pungent, estrogen, sour, salt, and bitter. Taking them by ones, twos, or threes, etc. From Lilavathi of Bhaskara, the great 12th century mathematician of India, as quoted by N.L. Biggs, The Roots of Combinatorics, Historia Mathematica. Wow. Hardcore. And uh, yeah, it says here, at an introductory level, it's interesting, this really agrees with what I was saying, so let's read it. At an introductory level, combinatorics is usually considered as a branch of discrete mathematics, in which the main problem is that of counting the number of ways of arranging or choosing objects from a finite set according to some simple specified rules, right? So you have some rules that you follow. Here are the basic tools that you use, the sum and product rule, permutations and combinations, pigeonhole principle. This is very similar to what's in Balakrishnan's book. So this book is, if you only discrete math book, you'll see a lot of this stuff. And if you liked it, uh, you'll probably like this. I do like Balakrishnan's discrete math book. Um, I've read uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of it. Not the whole book, but a decent, decent amount of that one. Group theory and combinatorics. Basic tools, the sum and product rule. So here it talks about the sum and product rule. And permutations and combinations. Okay, we've got factorial function, R combinations, pigeonhole principle, that's one you always see. You've got a lot of examples here. Solve problems, the sum and product rules. I've probably done these. Yeah, it's probably me. I think I've done all these. I think I did number two and three, perhaps. That was me. Guilty. Probably 20 as well, for some reason. Permutations and combinations. A lot of problems, right? A lot of exercises. So if you're looking for something to uh, keep you busy, um, you know, doing mathematics, this, this can keep you busy for hours. You could spend so much time um, sitting here with this book, doing problem, problem after problem after problem, um, figuring out you know, all of the answers to all of these. And you have supplementary problems. It's a lot of stuff, right? So this book is what you see, right? And it's got an index which you can use to uh, look up topics. So if you're taking, um, you know, either combinatorics or some graph theory stuff you want to look up, you can find it uh, in here. Further basic tools, so generating functions, group theory and combinatorics, that's cool. Right, some group theory stuff, permutation groups, ah, and their cycle indices, Polya's enumeration theorems, George Polya. There's an appendix on graph theory. So, yeah, it's a valuable book to anyone studying combinatorics, graph theory, or discrete math. Um, 
I think it's one of the ones to have. I would say it's pretty good and it's by Shams. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.